Yo, home hearties, and welcome back to another video. My name is Captain Pineapple, and, um, you, you just saw me get to the mun, except, um, oh my god, this isn't even the first time I've done this, which is why it's even worse. There's no landing legs. I... <laughs> I forgot to put landing legs. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe we should try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try and do a landing without any legs. Uh, right, what side is facing Kerbin? Okay, we want to be on the side that is facing Kerbin, really. So, uh, let's just go down here. Oh my god, this is, um... Yeah, and I'm serious about that. It's not my first time even forgetting the landing legs. I have genuinely forgotten landing legs on more than one occasion on the one thing while I have practiced landing I have oh my god I have one thing where I've practiced landing on the man and in that I forgot to put landing legs on the rocket then as well it's possible it is possible it's just not recommended. So, uh... Yeah, that's that's gonna be a problem. So, right. We want to land around there. Because it does look quite flat there. So we're just gonna open up the maneuver thing. Okay, and that button delays when we do it. So, if we just, like, press this as the man rotates. Just so that we can stay in... The same sort of place. Look, there we go. Right, we've got a connection again. And we're back. Right. Okay, and let's extend the burn slightly again. Right, so 52 second burn time. So we want to bring that. So we want to half that. So that's 26 seconds. Right. At T minus 26 seconds, we're going to throw the, fire the thrusters. So, I'm gonna speed this up, and right, let's slow down now, we have a tiny bit to prepare, oh, I can't believe I forgot the landing legs again, this is probably going to blow up, this, this is probably going to blow up, I'm, I'm not even joking about that, oh shoot, fire now, right, yeah, um, th this could be a problem, so I think we're landing in like one of the small craters, that might be it there, I think, actually. Apparently landing in the center of craters is the best idea. Yeah, the inside of craters might be the best option. There we go, perfect timing for a crew report there. So, that I don't know why I'm doing science, because this is the last episode on KSP, so I'm not, I'm not sure why I'm doing like science stuff but it, it's fun so after we do this maneuver burn we're going to want to then point retrograde so our thruster points to the ground and then we're gonna try and land without any landing legs I don't even know how to do that Okay, and we're actually going to end up on the edge of crater, so we're just going to do another burn just to get us um, further away. I'm not going to try and burn prograde and get towards it, like, I just don't know how to do that. So, I am literally just going to now try and get as far away from the crater, because the one place you don't want to be is the rim. Because the rim of a crater is very bumpy. And if you don't have landing legs, it's even worse, so, um, we, we really should have picked a better place. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. I, I cannot believe I did that. Right, we're gonna change our altitude measurement to land. I, oh my god, how did I do that for the second time? Second. Oh my gosh. Right. It's fine, it's fine, we can do this, we, we can do this, we're, we're skilled, we're, we're skilled at this, we can do this, nothing's gonna go wrong, everything is going to be fine. 
I even looked at the picture while building this like five times to go, yep, is everything on there? <sighs> right, okay. So, when we reach 3,000, I think I'll do another burn. We're coming up on 3,000. Okay, right, we're gonna do a full burn and basically just try and slow us down. Okay, we're going way too fast. I just basically want to slow us down to below 50 meters a second, ideally. And then I'll just let it go for a bit. And the idea is basically just to get us as slow as possible. Because if I had landing legs, I would go with around 7 meters per second or lower. But the thing is, because we don't even have landing legs, we're going to need to land even slower, otherwise the thing's going to blow up. So, my minor concerns there. So we're just going to do a slow burn, may maybe a bit quicker, um, quicker again maybe? Oh, judging distances in this game is so hard. Alright, let, let's just get us down below 5, I think. Alright, go on, go on, go on. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. No! No! Don't you tip! Don't you tip! <sighs> we, uh... We have a problem. Valentina is stuck. Just, just, just ignore me while, while I'm doing this, uh, this science here. I, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do some nice science there. Hey, Valentina, why didn't you EVA? How you doing, Valentina? Um, I hope you enjoyed your last flight. <sighs> See what I mean by bumpy landscape hmm yeah this 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 could definitely be a problem uh, okay we're gonna right click on you and we're actually gonna do a nice a nice flag so uh there we go look Pinewood Space Agency and we're gonna uh, it would help if I spelt her name right She did not look happy as I wrote that, but that's fine. So, uh, let, let's do an EVA report as well. There we go. H how nice. Um, we're also actually going to transmit the data as well, because, uh, I mean, I have a feeling we're going to die. I can't even push it back up. Sometimes you can push it back up, but uh, it looks like I can't even do that now. Uh, Valentina, you're actually gonna spend a really short amount of time on the man, I think. Oh, wow, look at that, though. That, that's, that's a really cool picture, I think. Look, doesn't that look cool? I think, I think that's a, a nice thumbnail there. Let, let's line us up, we might as well get a picture. And, boom, there we go. Nice picture of Valentina's death. I really feel bad for her. Like, look at her. She's so happy and completely oblivious to the fact that this is not good. 
Is there anything else you can do? Oh, I can't do the golf ball thing. There's a thing where you can test, like, I think it's the gravity of a place when you land, and you, you do it by, like, um, you, you just do it by hitting a golf ball. I can't actually do that. Huh. Such a small place, really. Like, it, it's, it's huge, but it's smaller than you would think. And I mean, Va Valentina can't get back from this. I, I genuinely don't think she can. She might. She might get lucky. But I don't think she will. seems to point us up, kind of. <gasps> no way! No! That did not just happen. We, we just got Valentina off the surface. We did... What? Right. No, I'll... God damn it, I'm screwing up this maneuver node. Bring it down, bring it down. No, no, that's too far retrograde. Um, oh gosh, I'm screwing up everything. There we go, right, that's an orbit. Okay, uh, T minus 16 seconds. Okay, we have time to fix this. We've got time. Retrograde a bit. Do that again. Burn retrograde a bit. There we go. Right, T minus 14 seconds. Okay. How did we do that? How did we do that? We got off the surface. We actually got off the surface with a craft with no legs. How on earth did we do that? This is, this is gonna be a short video, by the way, if you can't tell, but... Oh! Oh! Those are dead! Okay, um... Bye. That, that was genuinely the way I made them. They, they, they were designed to just be ditched, essentially. I, I... When testing this, I realised that I often ran out of fuel. So, um, I, I designed it so that I would have some extra fuel tanks, except once they were spent, there's no point keeping them, so I just made it so that after the fuel is up, we ditch them. Okay, um, now we have the problem of getting home. Huh. So, the way we do that is by burning prograde, and there's the periapsis there. I've never come in at this side, so I don't even know 
how to do this. Hmm. Right, okay. So, if we focus on... Come on, gas to... Gas to Kerbin. There we go. Right, so, if we focus on Kerbin... There's our periapsis. And what happens if we burn prograde? That now gets us further away. Okay. So, we'll try burning retrograde. And retrograde should bring us closer by the looks of it. Although, eventually, it's then going to send us further away. Good. What we're going to do is we're going to point at the maneuver note. What is up with the ground there? What? Why? Why is it? Why does it look like crease? Like you know, you know when you get like a a piece of fabric and you push like it all towards the middle, you get creases. It looks like that. Does that appear on the map? Oh, yeah, it does. That's weird. That is so weird. Right, we're gonna swap to look at Kerbin, though, just because Kerbin's kind of where the maneuver's going to end. Oh, look, that's, um, that's Acapello 1 debris. Nice. Right. Oh, shoot. Um, right. I want to decrease our thrust limit. Okay, 36 seconds, so at T-minus 18 seconds, we'll do a 13 second burn. Let's try... How much can we decrease this? 45 seconds... 46, right, okay. T-minus 23 seconds, we do our burn. And then... Right, Valentina, you're coming home. Hopefully. Fun fact, um, in the real life Apollo missions, they weren't sure if they would be able to bring Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins um, back home. So the, the US government genuinely prepared a speech to say they're not coming home. That is a genuine fact. They didn't know if they could get them home, so they actually prepared a speech to say Rest in peace, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. Why are we coming in at such a weird angle? Right, we're going to turn it off, and then we're going to slow our burn even more, just to get this as good as possible. Okay, and boom, done, done. Right, so a bit lower than intended, but that's fine, because look how much fuel we have left. We had so little fuel, like, we didn't have enough fuel for the burn before, and now we have plenty. We have, like, over half a tank. So that's, that's great. That's, that's amazing. I could send Valentina on an EVA. I could. I don't want to, really. Like, I don't think that would be the best idea. But I could. 
and isn't this game beautiful? And you're actually going to notice that the man is drifting further and further away. So, yeah, that that's fun. And, yeah, look, we're, we're going around 100 meters a second up. Um, I know it says we're going 830 meters a second, that's including a cross. But just simply up, that's like 100 meters a second. And eventually, the man's going to be out of reach. Like, if I wanted to, right now, I could slow us down and then land us again. It's not recommended, but I could. And, as I said, I'm not going to. But, we're, we're ready, I think. So, if we point retrograde, and then time warp, we're going to eventually hit Kerbin's atmosphere, and disappear. And this is what I love doing. Like, as you're leaving, just hit the time warp button, and just watch as the man just slowly drifts away that's not me turning the camera that's the game itself and just watch as the man drifts away and eventually it just becomes a small dot in the sky it's amazing and here's a fun fact about this game in in the game there's two moons if you scroll out further you get this one minmus minmus is smaller than the man itself and also way further away, so I don't actually think you can see it in the sky. If, if you look anywhere, I don't think you can actually see, actually see it. And this looks really concerning. This looks like we're flying away from Kerbin. And it does really look like that. But I'm pretty sure it's fine, so... We're going to reach that point in 1 hour and 10 minutes, of course we're time warping and we can time warp however we want. But um, when we reach that point, the mun will be around here based on what it looked like. And then we hit it and then Kerbin pulls us back in. So that's fine, that's fine, everything's fine. So if we just increase the time warp with full stop, here we go, we drift further out. And eventually, um, the man has so little of an effect that the game doesn't even calculate it. So it just pulls us back into Kerbin. So you're going to see Kerbin drift slightly further away, but then it will start getting closer. While the man continues to get further away. This is, this is a beautiful shot. I'm getting another screenshot. This is... It's a really beautiful game. I love it. Right, I've time warped us even faster, and now, look, the man is, like, it's it's just shrinking away. It, it's gonna be, well, not gone soon, but, like, it's gonna be quite hard to see. And then Kerbin starts getting closer. And this, this is another beautiful shot. Kerbin starts getting closer. And we're coming in now. So we're going to stop our warp. And we're coming down at like a thousand meters a second, which is why I've increased that back to 100%. And we're about to hit the atmosphere soon. Alright, three, two, one. Now, and we're just instantly going to burn retrograde as much as we can. We want to slow us down, one, enough to deploy the parachutes, two, just so that, like, when we do land, it's not in a fiery crash. So, the, we're actually doing quite a good job of slowing down, that's just because it's quite a, like, small craft. If, if this was bigger, then um, the, the engine wouldn't have much of an effect, because the Terrier is a very weak engine. Oh my god! What was that? That, that was insane. Game, please don't do that again. So, because this is such a small craft, this fairly, like, 
small engine is actually doing a very good job. It's slowed us down a thousand meters a second. So that, that's good. And um, I don't really want it getting... Actually, it getting in the way could slow us down a bit, so I'm actually going to... I, I don't have too much of a concern for it, so that, that's fine. And look, there, there we go. That's just going to crash down. And I'm going to tell it to deploy parachutes. I know that that's not safe at this moment, but the thing is... Um, like, it's... It, I don't have any more control now. I've run out of fuel, I can't control anything with that. It's literally just down to air resistance to slow us down. That's... that's what we're relying on now. We just have to rely on that. If it doesn't work, Valentina's going to die. And look, there, there's the debris up there. Drifting over and over away, but um, yeah, if, if this goes wrong, I can't do it. You can see, look, our aquapsis is coming down and across very fast. It's, it's quite beautiful, look, look, we're gonna hit the sun. Oh no! Fiery death. But, this is good, this is good. We're below a thousand meters a second, which is Usually, when we consider it okay. Yes! Right, those parachutes have deployed. They're slowing us down. And now it's safe for the other one. And, of course, the the thruster doesn't have any anything to slow it down at all. So, um, it's just going to crash. That's all that's going to happen. It's just going to crash. But, I think we've made a successful landing. So... Finally, this Kerbal Space Program series is done. When the second game does eventually come out, because they are making a second game, I will definitely play it. I'm not sure if I'll have a different objective then, but um, that kind of depends on the gameplay. Like, if if it's the same sort of um, thing, if they use the same planet and like the same man and all of that, then I'll probably do a different thing, like going to Minmus or something, or maybe even another planet, but that would take longer. Um, but that that kind of all depends on the actual game itself, and that's going to crash down in a second. I don't think we'll hear it. It's so far away that we might not actually hear it. It should crash down now. Is it not? It's... How is it 5,000 meters away? That must be very far across. If we're 3,000 meters in the air and that's 5,000 meters away, that must be very far across, otherwise it should be gone. Okay, yep, it's gone, it's gone. And now it's just a matter of descending, really. I know, don't time warp with large ships. It's not exactly a large ship, and there's nothing I can really do about this. But, um, if I wanted, I could actually, um, EVA, and then make Valentina jump out. But, I don't think that's going to happen. I, I don't think it's safe. But, here we go. This is our final, um, this is our final part of the mission. It's our final part. And I, I think now would be a good time to remember those that could not make it to the moon, mainly uh, Jebediah. Because Jebediah is still stuck in orbit up here. Because I can't get you down. I, I genuinely can't. I, I can't get them down. I tried around... Oh gosh, I, I don't remember how many times I tried. But you saw in, like, if you watched one of the videos, you would have seen, it just, I genuinely rage quit because of it, because every time I tried, it just didn't slow down enough, and they would crash into something. So, uh, yeah, Jebediah, I'm sorry, I can't get you down, or at least not in the series. So, uh, I, I wish, 
I wish I could get you back Jebediah and the four tourists in it or something, but uh, sadly I can't. So, let's recover this vessel off of that dark note, and how much science did we actually get for this? I expect it should be a lot. So, 15, 32, 40, 9, 48, 0, not sure why. Okay, so some of it just didn't do anything. Uh, 32, 0 again, and another 30. So, that that's nice. And that gets you a total of 258 science, by the way. So, that's a lot. And apparently that was Valentina's first time in an orbit, because that got her to one star. So, she didn't get that for landing on the man. She, she got that for... Um, okay, that actually surprises me, because I've never seen this before. On my offline save, after I landed on the man, or on my off YouTube save, after I landed on the man, it said to go to Minmus. I didn't get this. This was not a task for me. But I, I'm not doing it. Okay. But, um, this is, this is actually how I would have to get Jebedi down, do a rendezvous. But I'm not doing that. I'll accept it in case I ever want to do it off camera, but I probably won't. So, yeah, that, that, that's gonna end this episode here and the Kerbal Space Program series, or at least until, until they make the second game. So, uh, I really hope you have enjoyed it and thank you, thank you for watching.